Hare Krishna. I welcome you all to this session of question and answers. I am Abhinash and we are with His Grace Namanishta Das. Our subject matter for discussion today will be Karma. Hare Krishna Prabhu. To begin with, let me ask the first question. What is Karma? I think everybody knows this famous shloka. Karma ne vadikara hate maafale shukadajana. Ma karma phala hetu bhu. Maate sango astu a karma ni. So karma means do a prescribed duty and according to the scriptures not that I imagine what is my duty and there are certain rules and regulations in any duty which I am doing in the society a role in which I fit psychophysically that is karma and the karma is not to do my duties that I am supposed to do and a karma means to do activities which are neither punya neither papa which are for the pleasure of the Lord. That is Akarma. Prabhuji, the next question is, why has God designed such laws? Now, He has put the systems into place. The best thing would have been if we listen to Him. The Bhagavad Gita is there. We listen to what Krishna is saying. Then you are not subjected to the laws of Karma. There is no need. Huh? But when you do not want to listen, uh, so God, you don't want to listen to him. You have want to have nothing to do with it. So God has to set into a system in which gradually we are reformed by a chain of action and reaction. So he designed it. Definitely he had designed it. His personal involvement is like a judge, like a judge in the court. There is a rules of law and he's fair to everybody. And anybody comes, a case comes to him, even though the judge is signing death penalty or he is giving award to somebody, he is neither laughing, neither is crying, he is indifferent. So presently because people want to deal with the Lord, and not in a personal way. So in an impersonal way, the Lord is dealing in the way of laws of karma. Laws of karma, even though the God is there, but his heart is not there. One person wants to boss over another person. That person wants to boss for another person. In this dirty game, the Lord is not personally involved. The laws of karma are involved. So many times people say, by God's grace, I have become rich. It's laws of karma. Personal involvement of God is only when he becomes his devotee. Prabhuji, you gave the analogy of a court judge. So in this case, who is a witness who keeps track of one's karma actions? Yeah, many people don't understand who is a witness. For one moment, you are not outside God's eyes. Every moment, as the Paramatma in the heart first, directly the Lord is witness. Aham Atma Gudakesha. Krishna is there in everybody's heart, sitting and watching what is happening. In fact, because the Lord's form is transcendental, he does not even blink the eye. Without blinking eye, he's watching every act you are doing. Not only that, every thought you're having. He's watching everything. He's a witness. And he see this person so uh, has done this activity, which is not good. He has to be reformed. So a reaction comes to that or rectification. Every action or reaction which the God arranges in life is for our good. There is no injustice. Isn't it sufficient then, Prabhu, that we become a good person, help others and get good karma? It's nice. It's always nice to do, be a good man. But then you're going, you're going to rot in this world. God is inviting us to come back to us, just like in a jail. Now you will just be rotated from A. If you are very responsible, you will go from C class to A class. But unless... You become obedient to the king. You are not going to come out of the jail. You cannot avoid the king. Move out of the jail. King is there. So similarly, uh, it is better to uh, develop transcendental loving service to the Lord and develop love for the Lord. Then only you can go to the God's kingdom. In this world, finally, good and bad is also related. Uh, it's all in the mind. Because a slight mistake, there was one personality, King Nirga. And he did a small mistake. He was very pious. One small mistake, next time he was born, he gave a charity to one brahmana and by that mistake, that cow went to some other brahmana, both started fighting and cursed him to become a lizard. That example is given in scriptures to say just to be a punyatma is not everything. Huh? 
And another point is this. Suppose a loot bank, state bank of India, all of us, and then we say we divide the money morally. Where is morality left when you deny God? Everything is immoral. Everybody is condemned when you deny the existence of God. It's the greatest sin to deny God. Where you are saying you can be punyatma after that. So, some people are born in very rich condition. Some people are very poor. Some are very healthy and some are diseased. Why is there a difference in the conditions of people? People are in different situation because of karadam guna sangasya, because of different uh, desires they have cultivated, because of different activities they have done. Correct? They are in different situation. Now you uh, desires to be an engineer, and you have a lot of good karma, you become Brahma. Uh, but if you have papa karma, even though you desire to be an engineer, you become a caterpillar. So it's a com- combination. Karanam guna sangasya. What kind of just like air goes through a garden? may pick up very nice flavor or it may pick up bad smell depending on which area it went. So similarly, what kind of activities you get indulged in, what kind of desires you are cultivating in, you get a form accordingly. So actually whole life, the mind is shaping a new form and the new dress is put just to accommodate that form. So if you have cultivated desire for say meat eating, then you get a form of the tiger. You have cultivated desire to eat any nonsense thing, you get off, your mind has become shaped in a different way. Body just fits in to that kind of a, facilitate that kind of mentality of the mind. Correct? Mind and body should be in harmony. So you have developed certain uh, kind of a desire. A body has to be given to accommodate that desire. So you be peaceful. Could you just now mention that there are different kinds of activity a person can perform? What are the different kinds of activity? How do we categorize them? Different kind of activities we can do is that we can, uh, I said in the beginning, of karma, akarma, vikarma. These are the different kind of activities we can do. It is always good to do akarma. Uh, mostly people, what they do is that they plan that I will not do simple activity. Uh, I will be a good man and help people. We are saying it's good. But try to remember this point, both karma and akarma, karma and vikarma are binding. If you help a poor man, next time you have to be born to be held by another person. Therefore, if you want to do something, always in, involve your energy for the satisfaction of the Lord. And when you serve the Lord, automatically service to all the living entities included. Just like in a temple, there is a profuse distribution of prasadam. Even in our small temple that we have, anybody is welcome. So yes, you people say, why don't we help a poor man? Who is saying? The whole world come, we are ready to feed. We never say no to any person who visits the temple. Please come, we are ready to do. But here, we are giving Lord's prasada. So there is no karma involved in it. Yes. Prabhuji, you have received some questions from the audience. Shall we take it? The first question is, the law of karma is universal, then does it hold good to even animals? For example, if a lion, Kids are here. Does it incur karma? No. Animals, because their condition is such that they have no freedom. So therefore, uh, there is no karma for them. Karma comes when you have some freedom. Uh, if you misuse a freedom, that is karma. When, you get, when animals don't get that situation. Animals is are living a life of experience. Some people want to learn by experience. They are condemned to animal form. Those people who want to learn by hearing, that is the human form. Human form is giving an opportunity to learn by hearing. You can read Bhagavad Gita very nicely and go back to the kingdom of God. Understand this. But say, you say, no, 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 no. I don't accept what Bhagavad Gita says. Krishna says, do this, don't do this. I don't accept all that. Then be ready. Go to the animal kingdom, learn step by step. Then again, when you come to the human form of life, you should have a desire. Huh? To understand the truth. Who am I? Does God exist? If this is not there, go back again. Because you have so many desires to fulfill, sinful desires to fulfill. Animal forms are best because you don't incur. You are irresponsible, better not to give you freedom. Go back to the animal. Animal, what is happening? Step by step, experiential learning is happening. And then he's coming to the human form of life. 
where all the kind of lazy desires have been satisfied. Now, therefore, Atada Brahma Jikyasa. I said many times, a unique scripture begins with therefore. Vedanta begins with the therefore. Because you have gone through the so many forms of animal life, 8 lakh forms, and now there is a good opportunity. 80 lakh forms, sorry. Now there is a good opportunity to understand the truth. But you say, I'm not interested in understanding the truth. I still am thinking I'll be happy in that situation. Okay, go back, go back to the animal. Just go through the experiential one. Okay, Prabhuji, the next question is, if God wants us to come back to his kingdom, then why does he give us opportunity to do the sinful activities? Opportunity is there for you to deny. Just like there is poison. Uh, many people say, the God has created a word for my enjoyment. So God has created a poison also. Why do you eat? You don't eat poison. So you have a discrimination with butter part of the We keep discriminating. And every time you do that, God is watching. Yes. He has become, my son has become so responsible now. And again you deny, again he gives you. So more and more you are exercising your desire, service to no Krishna, I want you, I want you, I want you. So every time you're doing that, just like if somebody has a coma, his leg is not moving. But now what happens is that moment you are uh, plaster is removed, uh, say if somebody's plaster is removed, then he has to do exercise. So every time you are choosing, no, I serve better serve Krishna. Then you are becoming healthy, 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 and then you are fit to go back to God's kingdom. The third question is, how do you relate to a bad Accidentally, if somebody has done a sinful activity, he can ask a lot for pardon. Uh, there are something called prayashita, the process when somebody goes of voluntary suffering to atone. But then it is comforted to Hasti Snana because again, just like so many people do crime, they are put into jail, that is atonement only. Uh, but then he comes back and again does the same activity because his heart is impure. So some people say, okay, give him knowledge, or oh, we will give you so many knowledge and understand this activity. It's not good to drink, it's not good to do crime, it's not good to steal. You understand, but then again, heart is not fully purified. This is compared to uh, uh, trees are cut in a forest. But the roots are still in the ground. So again, person, when the rain comes, opportunity comes, even though you might have given for somebody full understanding where you should not do a particular simple activity. But the moment the opportunity comes, again. So this is jnana will also not ultimately have. What helps is actually Krishna Bhakti. Kechit kevalaya bhakta vasudeva parayana agam dhurvanti kasinani haram yapaskara. Just like the sun rises, all the mist is destroyed. The moment a person takes to a loving devotion service to the Lord, all his papas are my important. And that is the best way. So, the next question is Can't I give a, give a simple life and at the end chant God's name? And you can't cheat. You can't cheat. Uh, first thing is that it is good to prepare whole life for the. If, if you think this is important, you should prepare whole life. If you have a very important exam, say IS exam, do you do it in the last minute? And if you have an exam for say entrance for engineering, do you prepare in the last five minutes? That means we are not serious. The Ajamila case is a special case where it, because he had done devotional service in his life cultivated and accidentally he fell down. He didn't plan like this. Okay, I fall down now and Krishna is very merciful at the time of death. I will chant his name. You cannot do like that. You cannot cheat Krishna. Krishna will cheat you so nicely then. Rather, we should every day sincerely pray to the Lord and we can gradually see we are progressing in our faith and devotion to the Lord. Then at the time of death, it will be possible for us to remember the Lord. Suddenly, you cannot remember. It is not possible. In fact, whatever kind of desire uh, we have cultivated, that somebody was telling that example that used, uh, there was one person every Sunday he used to Repair his kinetic, open the whole thing, and then fit it again. He was very attached. When he was dying, he was saying, Where is the key? Where is the key? He was thinking about his kinetic. The same way, if you are involved in material activity, cultivating material desire, uh, you will be thinking about that only at the moment. So, the love, faith, devotion has to be cultivated. Any relationship is cultivated. It is not one moment you become. Develop trust in God. Okay, God also 
ये ग्रेजुअली करते इट्स नॉट दैट इज मर्सी ओनली गोइंग टू कम एट द मोमेंट ऑफ इट मर्सी कम्स थ्रू आउट द लाइफ ठीक है बाय हिज मर्सी विद द लव एंड फेथ एंड डिवोशन टू हिम एंड देन द मोमेंट ऑफ दैट वी हैव टू डेफिनेटली वी सीक द लॉर्ड्स प्रोटेक्शन वी सीक द शेल्टर एंड बट सडनली इफ यू डोंट हैव रियलाइजेशन द पेन इज सो एक्यूट एट द टाइम ऑफ दैट यू विल नॉट बी एबल इवन इफ यू वांट टू इमिटेट अ जंग लाइक यू नॉट बी Rather, you will be engrossed in the pain, and you will be thinking about your attachments. And worse, you will be thinking about your sinful desires, which are string st- still strongly present in your system. So, it's always auspicious whole life. Therefore, we re- recommend there should be something called a sadhana. Huh? Every day, you should keep some time and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Even if you are not able to do anything else. Just attentively chant this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. It's a very simple program, but it will work. And as you see day by day, as the system is getting purified, your desire to serve the Lord, which is original, it is not that we are imposing Krishna consciousness. It's originally there in your heart, and the thick, just like a you know a bulb. If you coat it with black paint, the light is not coming out. You just clean the paint, whole light comes out. So already devotion to the Lord, devotion to Krishna, Nitya Siddha Krishna Bhakta Sadhik Abhinaya. It is originally there in the heart. Shamana the Shuddha Chitta Karayo there. By the process of hearing and other processes, gradually the devotion to the Lord will come out. But you just apply the process. Let the process go. So maybe the last question is: the surrendering to Krishna take away all the uh, reactions of the sinful activities that are performed. सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मां एकम शरणम रज अहम त्वाम सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्ष शांत मां सर्व पापेभ्यो कृष्ण सेइंग फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग जस्ट टेक माय शेल्टर एंड भगवत गीता द लास्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कृष्ण ही सेड अहम त्वाम सर्व पापेभ्यो इफ यू सिंसियरली सेड टू कृष्ण सो लॉन्ग आई डिड नॉट नो माय लॉर्ड आई एम योर सर्वर आई वाज रोमिंग अराउंड इन दिस वर्ल्ड इंस्टेड ऑफ सर्विंग यू आई वाज सच अ फूल आई वाज सर्विंग माय कामा क्रोध एंड Helplessly dragged by that. Actually, our position is to serve, but instead of serving Krishna, we are serving all these silly things. So when I understand this, I beg the Lord, my Lord, give me your service. I better serve you. And when you come to the Lord with that spirit, my Lord, foolishly I was roaming around. Can I be engaged in your service? Yes, Krishna will accept you. And not only that, He will close all your bad deeds. You know, here, Papa, Punya, whatever, all these are obstructions. Krishna will serve up all of you. All your karmas will be cleaned away, and you will be peacefully able to engage in the service. So, Vijay, thank you for giving us your time and answering all the questions. Viewers, viewers can send us your questions on the mobile number displayed on the screen. We will be coming up with many such discussions. Until then, Hare Krishna.